Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Gen V, season one, episode number four, The Whole Truth. And this episode is directed by Steve um, Boyum. And in this episode here, we get introduced to Tech Knight. Now, Tech Knight is also in the comic books as well, too, but they changed them completely, except for the one part. The only thing that they kept was the, the tumor in his, in his head and also the whole whole situation. And that's it. Because Tech Knight doesn't have any comic books. It doesn't have any comic books. It doesn't have any powers in the comic book. He's more like Iron Man. He make he makes he makes a suit. He makes it to give him super strength, be able to fly stuff like about too. And he also saves the world with, with with holes or sort of something like that. Anyway, they changed him up, but I like how they used him in his role too. And I thought the, the performance by Derek Wilson, who played Tech Knight in here, I thought he did a, a great job. Now, even though his name, even though they, the thing is though, his only he the only Tech Knight and name only because his powers. Because in the comic books, Tech his comic of Tech Knight it matches this because he, he wears a, a, a suit, a special suit that he, that he makes. But here, his calling himself Tech Knight it doesn't make any sense at all because because they, they changed him so much from the from the comic books that why they all they call him Tech Knight if, if, if his power is the people like in a way be super aware of hyper aware of what's going on, even smell the from a thermos getting off you. Like what they got to do with technology or tech? I don't know. It's just weird, but in, in in the comic books it works better for him. But here it's just it's just a thing. But I still like I still like how they use the character as well, though. Even though he wasn't it wasn't faithful to the comic book at all, it, it was still fun to watch. And then you have um the crew is uh, the all, all the kids have to come together now because um well Andre pretty much told them that that, that um he sent he sent um Emma off to, to pretty much try to find to find um Sam and to pretty much do and now things went sideways there. He's freaking out because they don't know where they don't know where Emma is. You have um, uh, the dean. Try, I'm trying to figure, trying to figure out who 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 um who how the um how does Sam escape and then also who to blame it on because she knows when the kids are involved. So 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 Tech Knight's there. The people whittle out to get some information that he needs. Find out who the weak, where the weak part is and then take them out. But the thing is though, he doesn't find the weakness that he that he wants to do with the kids. So, because the thing is, though, it looks, it looks like they were going to blame it all on Jordan. That was the plan. Interview the kids like that too. Blame it on Jordan. She gets kicked out because they get kicked out because they don't people don't feel comfortable with the whole gender swapping situation or, or what to call them as well. So, so they thought since the, since the um the the main guy is dead now, he he's the only person protecting her protecting them that they want to they want to get get rid of them all together, and that's it. But but because of what. Marie did by actually telling the truth and said that um that uh, that um that Jordan actually was the hero actually was the hero and they were the one that people stopped Golden Boy and saved the day. So now like this crap. Well, we can't use that now because they, they can't they can't get rid of Marie because they pretty much put her in the spotlight and so so she kind of safe for right now. They wanted to get rid of Jordan, but but she she made her the hero made made the, them the hero. So so now like this that sucks. And so so now you, you had the whole oh yeah yeah you had the thing going on with um. The, the dean, he said, "Well, I gotta blame it on you," and he said, "Well, you gotta blame it on me because I, I got this on you." So he said, "So that causes the situation is right there as well too." We got to see more of um, Emma and her powers, how they work as well too, which is it's still messed up, even though visually they, they did an amazing job of using her powers and ability. The creative way of doing it is, is very interesting, but at the same time, it's, it's the walk, it's the eating disorder, it's the eating disorder. She got a binge to get big, she got a oh. To get small, she I, and uh, and then she got a. I guess you got a. I guess she. Oh, oh, that's just, that's just so messed up. It's just so messed up. Like if only with like on her own will, maybe she. But dang, to go go about it that way. It's just like oh, so horrible. I mean, Marie's power is always messed up as it is, but it looks like she's getting powerful as well too because she runs. She she she, she goes to Rufus for help to try to help her find her sister because he has some kind of psychic abilities. And then it looks like he tried to use his psychic abilities to try to get some kind of a favors from her, which caused him to have his penis explode. Now, this dude has been through a lot. I mean, first time he said, he said, that, he said that comment, which, which caused um, Kate to make, to make him hit himself in the balls repeatedly with a bat. I'm surprised the penis still works. And then it explodes. So can he self-heal or regenerate? Because that. I hope that's the case for him because because the first time he got hit in the he was hit himself in the back and is yelling out Jumanji in the corner and now his penis explodes. What, what's gonna happen next episode? Because it seems like it seems like a with him, him, him and his his balls or his penis getting messed up. Is that is that the running joke here? 
Because I I know Alexander Cover from um, from, Super, from Supernatural, where he played the, the 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 son of the devil, who also was raised by um Dean and Sam, and also um and um what's his name? The angel's name? I'm blanking on his name right now. Dean Sam Angel. Well, anyway, cast and cast and cast the L. And he was actually good. And in the end, he becomes well the new God in a way. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. But so, but seeing him here being so pathetic, it's very, it's very interesting. It's very, it's very interesting of, of, of a character, but uh, he may, he might make, because I think, cause I didn't think, I didn't think it'll be that much, a, a big of a deal. Cause if the first time he made an appearance, I think it'd be like, this is one off, but this is the second time we've seen him. So he might come back again. Let's see, let's see what happens. Maybe he might be better now. I don't know. But watching the team finally come together now and working together, to try to to try to help um trying to help um Emma and not trying to help not trying to help Emma also Sam at the same time, and then seeing that Sam even though he may have all this power he also mentally just messed up as, as well. Now I don't know that because it was that because of the V or because of something else altogether or he was he born this disorder and now he just, and the V just amped it up, made it worse. But seeing him struggling right now too, trying to the certain stories between reality and um and fiction, as and also build build the connection he has with Emma as well too, because even though she sees that he's like he's not quite well, she still wants to help him and wants to be there for him as well as well. As, and, and even though it's messed up as it is, it kind of it, it looks like it works for for them as, as well too, because you see two people who are messed up some, some type of way, and, and they're like they're, they're like finding some, their, their their completion with with each other. In a real twisted, sick, 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 sick way as well too. Like you, you know, you know that relationship cannot work. This, but this why watching them together, it, it's just it's doomed, it's doomed to fail. But at the same time, you got to root for you got to root for them too. And you hope you got to kind of hope it does. Like this, oh, they they look so sweet, nice together. But at the same time, he's messed up mentally. She has a whole thing situation going on, and her desperate need for, for love and, and affection that she, that she couldn't get from her mom as well too. And it's just like oh, it's just, and, and, and all of them messed up. All of them really messed up some type of way. I mean, you got Marie doing all this to try to get the love of her sister, who she because who, who she don't want to see her as the monster anymore. You got Jordan, want her parents to accept her for who she is, especially her father, and, and, and not getting that as, as well. And she finally had it with with the with the with the, with the, with the main guy from the school, and he's and he's gone now. Now her flesh, she actually feel like her protection is gone. But you put the but she also it was interesting how her her her, her, her um relationship she had with. Jordan having Marie was kind of on the outs, but now you start to see them together. It, 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 they actually do have some sort of attraction there be between one of them. So that's very really interesting as well, as well, too. So a lot of things happen, but, the, but the, then you get to the end and things just go crazy from there because because it just went black and then they know Jordan and Marie are in bed together. Like this, what happened? What what what, what, what now? What ha what happened? This the Sam and Emma are, are they are they both locked up again? Like what's what's going on? I don't know who caused them the blackout in the first place. Beats me. The Rufus make a make an appearance because he looked like because the thing is though Rufus called Marie the blackout so when she woke up inside um his his, his room, so did he, did he did he find him or is somebody else all together? Uh, beats the crap out of me. But either way, it's very interesting. Not, nothing really happened just yet in this episode. Not really not not happen. I mean, yes, you it was, it was fun watching Tech Knight do his thing as well too, and also the weird stuff too. But but at the same time, nothing really happened to be really to, to prepare to make the story move forward in any type of way. But I'm looking forward to see where it goes from here. But so far, I'm still enjoying it, enjoying the characters as well too, watching the journey, and also like the fact that these kids aren't really, even though they maybe have their little hangups here and there, they're not really bad because the, because the boys, I mean, other than Maeve and um and Starlight, the rest of them are just like are just horrible. I mean, A Train has moments, so you think he's going to turn things around. You, know, just, you kind of root for him a little, a little bit. You see, you see a little bit of hope that he's going to do something good, and then he just, he just, he just, he just went something awful. The deep, he's just, uh, he's just stupid. He, he, he just, he wouldn't be famous so badly. He, he'll pretty much do anything. So, uh, hoping is a psycho. So uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. But these kids right here, even though they may be messed up here and there, they had the little messed up quirks. They still are good kids. And you, and you, and you, and you so, so you actually do care about them. You want to see them like, do better. You want to see them, see them succeed and see them move forward. And hopefully, maybe not become part of the seven. Or maybe do come part of the seven. Maybe they might change things that make things better. Who knows? But, good episode. I really enjoyed it a whole lot. Leave comments down below. 
Let me know what you thought of this episode of Gen V. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy having watch it too. So give me a chance to like, hit the thumbs up, shaboo, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below. The connection on my social media, you want to follow me there. I really, really appreciate it. Also, to my story, my story, my shirts and socks, and everything else and whatnot. So you see some stuff, about some stuff, I really, really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.